Hi, welcome back to a new workout. Today we're going to do an easy beginner cardio workout. Everyone can follow along. You don't need any equipment, so get ready and let's start. Okay, we're going to start this workout with a short warm up. So just start with the march on spot. And while we're marching on spot, we're going to do some arm circles. So just circle your arm, right one to the front. And of course, we're going to alternate circling that left one as well. First, a few warm up exercises, and then we go over to the main workout. And today the main workout is 10 different cardio exercises. Easy to follow along, no jumping, no deep knee bends. You can follow on your own pace. We do every exercise 50 seconds on and just a 10 seconds to explain the next exercise and then we go over to the next one. Another arm, circle in front, <laughs> reverse up over to that left. And of course, after the 10 exercises, we have a water break. We're repeating the exercises. So in the second round, you know the exercises. And we finish with a cool down. So just keep marching. A few more arm circles. A few more big circles. And from the marching arm place with the arm circles, we're going to do a few side steps. So just step from side to side. Slightly swing the arms over, keep that upper body straight up. Don't go too fast because that warm up is just to get a heart rate up a little bit. Warm up the muscles a little bit. So from side to side, a few steps to warm up. And in the main workout, you can speed up, you can do it on your own pace. Most important is that you challenge yourself, have a good workout, and get a heart rate up. A few more steps, and then we're going to a standstill. Feet are on hip one. What we're going to do is we're lifting the heels up, alternating left and right. So keep that upper body straight up. Swing your arms over and just lifting the heels up on your toes. Warming up the calves a little bit, bending the knees for the steps we're going to do in the main workout. To find that balance, engage your abs and just keep lifting up the heels, left and right alternating. A few more seconds. Now we're going to do two more exercises in the warm up and then we're ready to go. So, final seconds of heel lifts. Swing the arms, lifting the heels. Come on, your toes. Final ones, and then we're going to stretch and bend a little bit. So what we're going to do is we reach out, tapping to that side, come back center, tap to the other side. Bend and really make that stretch, feel that stretch in your waistline. So bending over and reach out. Come back and step, reach to the other side. Reach. Bend and reach from side to side. And after the reaches, we do one final exercise. So bend that upper body from left to right. Reach out. Feel that stretch. Because we're going to use the arms during the stepping exercises in that main workout. So push the arms out. Bend and stretch. One more on left, one more on right. And then over to the final exercise. Come into a little wide stand and we're going to circle the hips. Push the butt back a little bit, feeling the stress on your hamstrings, popping out the hips, press in front. That's the circles we wanted to do. Circle round and round. A few more towards that left side and then we're going to reverse the circles to the other side, and that's right now. Pop it to right, that's it. A few more circles, don't lock the knees. Big circles, bend that upper body along. 
circling around and around. Two more, and that's it. Shake it out. Get ready because we're now going over to the main exercises of this workout. 10 different ones, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds active rest to go over to the next one. We start with a single march on spot. And what we're going to do, we're doing alternating arms up and down. So just go in your own pace, march on spot. And when you have that march, pump those arms up and down as well. Just march and arms going up and down. Getting the steps in, time to get it hot right up. So march and press the arms up, alternating left and right, upper body straight, belly in, that's it. March on spot, lift the feet up and arms up and down. Up, down, up, down and keep on marching, that's it. Marching up and down. 10 more seconds, and then we go to the second exercise. Stretch out the arms all the way up above your head, and that's it. The next one is a side step, just a regular side step. And what we're going to do with the arms is just open up, close, open up, close. Arms up, step open, close. That's it, shoulders low, chest up, and of course, Make the steps as big as you can. And all the way opening those arms and bringing the hands together on chest height. That's it. Keep your arms up, don't lower it down. Your knees are slightly bent and making big steps. Pull your belly in and just keep going. 20 seconds. Open, close, big steps. Final 10 seconds, from right to left. Last ones, and lower your arms down. The next one is a tap on place, so we pull the toes into the floor, and we just swing the arms from right to left. So right, left, right, left. If you can, pull that hip up a little bit, working your waistline. So swing the arms up, tap, tap, toe into the floor, just in place, up body straight, and swing those arms with power, right and left, that's it. Active in your exercises, whole body is moving, lifting that hip up, 15 seconds left, and swing, left. Right, keep going, swing up high, final ones, and that's it. The next one is a butt kick jack, so what we're going to do, bring the heels towards the butt, and every time we kick your butt, arms are going up above your head. So kick, and arms are going up, all in the same move. So heel is going up, arm is going up. Left and right. Stay into that wide stand. Upper body straight, knees slightly bent. And bring your arms all the way up, all the way down. Curl your leg, kick your butt. Bring that heel up. Left and right. 15 seconds left, come on, kick it. Up, down, up, down, right, left. Just a few more. Final ones, and that's it. Okay, the next one is a tap back. So knees are slightly bent, we're tapping back, and while we do that, we make a front row. So tap back, and pull your hands up towards the chest. That's it. Up, down, up, down, while tapping back. Keep that upper body straight up, and pull, pull. Tap it back, alternating right and left. Bring the elbows to the outside, and pull, press, pull, press. That's it. Tap it back, 
Big steps, 20 seconds left. Up and down, up and down. Elbows out, 10 seconds. Tap it, left, right, left. Final five. And the last one, that's it. We're halfway in the first round. The next one is a side tap and arm going up front and side. So tapping right, arm is going to right in front, then swinging over to left. So one arm front, one arm side, and just step from side to side. Slightly bend your knee while tapping to the side, then you can reach a little bit farther. Upper body straight up, and swing those arms over. Front side, front side. Come on, swing it up. Keep that heart rate up. Tap it left, tap it right. That's it. 10 more seconds. Swing your arms up. Final ones. And the last one on right. Lower your arms down. The next one is a circle step. We're going to do a side step, circling the arms above our head from side to side. So going to the right side, make a big circle, slowly bend the knees when you're at the end of that circle. Bend that upper body a little bit from side to side. So big steps, big circles. From right to left, swing your arms over, circling right, circling left. That's it. Big steps, big circles, 20 seconds left. To the right, circling left. Keep going. All the way up with those arms. From left to your right, final five seconds. Last one, that's it. The next one is a front tap. Tapping the toes, but a little bit more in front, not on plate, in front. While we do that, we make a pushing movement. Come on. Push and tap those toes in front of you. Knees slightly bent. And of course, that upper body is straight up. Pull the belly in, engage your abs, and push with power. Pull those arms back towards your chest. And tap those toes into the floor in front of you. Left and right, push it. With power, of course. That's it. Upper body straight. Lift your chest up. Shoulders low. Yes. And 10 more seconds. Come on. Steps in. Keep that heart rate up. Push it. Final ones. And that's it. Arms down. Shake it out. The next one. Lifting the knees up, we're keeping that upper body straight up. And while we do that, we're bringing the hands together under our legs. So come on, lift it up, lift it up. Swing your arms back up on shoulder high, and then clap your hands together while lifting your knees up. That's it. Shoulders stay above the hips, so no upper body bending over. It's more easy to clap under your legs. Keep it straight up, lifting the knees higher. And swing those arms up and down. That's it, 20 seconds. Come on, bring the knees up. Left and right. And bring the hands together. Upper body is straight up. Final five seconds. And that's it. One more exercise, and then you made it to the water break. The next one is a wide tap, tapping from side to side, and we make a cross pull. So pull, cross. Tap it from side to side. So that's the move with the legs, just pulse and tap, and then cross your arms in front, pull back. Upper body straight up, and of course, pull back with power. Make yourself your fist. Cross and pull, cross and pull. Slowly bend your knees. Tap it from right to left. 
It's the final one before the water break. So come on. Keep your heart rate up. Tap it. Cross pull, cross pull. Final 10 seconds. Keep going, big wide stand. Tap it, tap it, right and left. Final ones. And that's it. Very well done. It's time for a little break. Drink some water, hydrate your body. And then I see you in the next round. We do the same 10 exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds active rest. And then we finish with a cool down and a bit of stretching. Okay, here we go for the second round. We start with a march in place with the alternating arms up and down. So go a little bit more in my corner and go. So march on spot and bring the arms up and down. If you can speed up a little, just march on spot and pushing the arms up. Alternating left and right. Time to get a heart rate up again. Getting the steps in today. That's it, arms up and down, left and right, left and right, keep on marching. Upper body straight up, and stretch your arms all the way up. That's it, 20 seconds left, keep on marching, making the steps. Left, right, left, right. Keep on going, 10 seconds. Marching on spot, final ones. And that's it. Okay, the next one is a regular side step, big ones. And we're going to open and close the arms. So come on, arms up and open, close, open, close. That's it. Big steps, of course. And open your arms all the way. Lift your chest up, bring the shoulder blades together. And clap in front if you want. That's it. Engage your abs, big steps. Slowly bend the knees, come on. You can do this 20 seconds. Don't lower your arms down. Keep your arms up, big steps, that's it. 10 more seconds, shoulders down low, chest up. And the final ones. That's it. Now lower your arms down. Take a deep breath in. All right, catch your breath a little. The next one is that tap with the arm swing. So come on, follow me. Ha! Tap and swing. So tap in place, not in front this time. It will come later. And swing those arms. Pull the hips up if you can. Work in your waistline a little bit and swing with power up from right to left that's it lift the heels up tap the toe onto the floor and swing swing right and left lift the hip up 15 seconds tap it and swing and swing with power all the way from left right Final seconds. And that's it. Okay, the next one is that butt kick with the jack move, arms up and down. When you kick your butt, arms are up. Right now, come on. So come into that wide stand, pulse it over from left to right. Bring the heel up, kick your butt while pumping those arms up and down on your own pace but of course keep your heart rate up upper body straight up arms up down up down kick your butt come on bring the heels up you can do it 20 seconds keep on pumping kick it left right left right and arms up and down final ones 
Final seconds. Last one. That's it. Okay, the next one is that tapping back with that front row push. Bow, push, row, push. Come on, right, left, right, left. Upper body straight up and tap it back. Hands up to the chest and down. Up, down, up, down. Elbows to the outside. Come on, pull the belly in. Power. Tap it back. Up and down with those hands. Bring the hands up to the chest. Push it down. Push it down. Yes. 20 seconds left. Big tap backs. That's it. Come on, keep going. Don't slow down. Keep up the pace. Final 10 seconds. Tap it. Tap it. Come on, final ones. And that's it. Okay. Stay active, regulate your breath, and we're halfway in the second round. We're going further with the side tap. Come on. Tap. And swing those arms, front and side. Working the shoulders a little bit as well. And try to bend your knee a little bit to tap as far to the side as you can. Left and right alternating. Chest is up. Bring the belly in. Yes. And tap it halfway. Swing over right, left. Right, left. Come on, tuck that belly in. Swing the arms up. On shoulder height, on chest height. And tap it. 10 more seconds. Come on, bring that heart rate up. Get the steps in. Final ones. And that's it. Okay, the next one is that side step with that overhead arm circle, making a rainbow with our arms. So come on, over to right, left, right, left. Slowly bend that upper body at the end of that step. Working the obliques. Yes, big steps, of course. Over from left to your right. Left and right. Make those circles, come on. Crunch a little bit at the end. We have a big steps. Slowly bend the knees and keep that upper body straight up, only bending to the side. Come on, swing those arms over. Making those circles, big ones. Final seconds. Almost there. Circle. One more. That's it. Okay, the next one is that front tap with the push. Really tuck the belly in, engage your abs and push it. Slowly bend the knees, tap in front and push with power. Shoulders down, chest up and press it. Come on. Right on left, alternating. Push it and push the heart rate up. Tap, tap. Toes into the floor in front of you. Upper body straight. We have 20 seconds left to go. Push it. That's it, keep going on your own pace. Making the taps and push with power. Both hands in front and of course pull back. Final seconds and that's it. Lower your hands down, two more exercises and then Cool down. The next one is that high knee with the claps under the legs. So come on, left and right. Bring the hands together and keep your shoulders straight above your hips. So it's straight back. Do not bend over, do not lean back. And swing those arms up on shoulder height and clap your hands together while lifting the knees up to the chest. That's it. Right and left and high knee march. And your knee have to be high enough to take the hands together below your legs. That's it, come on. You can do it, lift a little bit higher. Pump it up, you're at the end of this workout, so come on. 10 more seconds, and then just one 
more exercise. Five. Oh, last one. That's it. Great job. One more exercise. We finish with that white tap with the crush pull. So come on, follow me. Ha. With power. Tap it. Bend the legs. Pump it up. Side to side. Cross pull, cross pull with power. And if you can, speed it up just a little bit. Get that heart rate up as high as you can in this final push. We have 25 seconds left. So come on. Left and right. Cross pull, cross pull with power. Come on, make those fists. Engage your abs, keep your back straight. 10 seconds. Left, right, left, right. That's it, come on. Finish strong. Last ones. And that's it. Very well done. And of course, now don't stand still. We're going to make just small side steps really slow and bringing that heart rate to a normal level. So take a couple of deep breaths in, but keep moving. Little side steps. Roll the shoulders up and back, lifting the chest up. That's it. And then when you're ready, add a shoulder roll. Slow down that pace a little bit more. Bring that shoulder up to the ear and roll back. Really push that shoulder down, lifting the other up. That's it. We're releasing the tension out of the shoulders because we did a lot of arm moves. Alternating, reversing that shoulder roll from the right back to the front. Just a few more. Release the tension out of the shoulders. Final rolls. And then we're going to bend the upper body. So what we're going to do is have circle bend. So bring the hands up from that left one, reaching over to that right one. Bend, and if you can't bend to the side anymore, then just bring that shoulder in front, collapse, and swing up from right to left. Really make yourself long, reach over to that left side, bend, and swing from left to right. Make yourself long, reach up, reach, 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 reach. Make yourself long, bend over to that left side, collapse, swing, come on up. We do one more on the right side, and swinging up. Make yourself long, stay in center. Reach out as far as you can, make yourself long. Reach up and release. Okay, now releasing the tension out of the lower body, making the kicks. Just kick, 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 that's it. Upper body is straight up, focus on the breathing. So take deep breaths in, deep breaths out, lifting the chest up and just low kicks to release the tension out of that lower body, the knees, and then we're going to circle the knees, the ankles, of course, to release the tension a little bit more intense. But first, shake it out, release the tension, just making the steps. Shake it, shake it, shake it. That's it. A couple of shakes, right on left. Shake out all the tension. One more, and that's it. Feet are going on hip wide. Hands on your knees, and we're going to rotate. Just bring the knees over from left to right. Also with your ankles, releasing the tension. Make the circles just as big as you can, just a little bit. If you have uh, tight knees or ankles, just feel what you can do. If you can bigger circles, do it. Otherwise, just keep them small. It's only to releasing the tension out of the joints a little bit, because we did a lot of steps. And now reverse those circles to the other side. Of course, keep your back straight. Just a few more. And then we're going to do one final stretch to finish this workout. Final circle. Now come on up. 
And what we're going to do is full body stretch roll. So the feet are going just a little bit wider than the hips. We're going to reach out, make yourself long, and then bend over. And then round your back. Try to touch the floor, the other one. Go as far over as you can. Try to bring your hands on the floor, feeling that stretch. And then roll up, slowly. Hands going up again, stretching out. Make yourself long, then bending over again with a straight back. First straight, and then round your back. Hands are going to the floor, if you can. Bend over as far as you can, feel that stretch. Release the tension out of your lower back, then roll up. And we're going to do that one more time. So stretching out, make yourself long. Reach, 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 and then bend over. Straight back, feeling that stretch on your hamstrings. And then around your back, slowly bend the knees. Try to bring the hands towards the floor, feeling that stretch, releasing the tension of your lower back. And then bend the knees a little bit more. Roll up slowly, slowly, and that's it. Very well done. You finished this great cardio workout. Give yourself that well-deserved thumbs up. Well done, you did it. I wish you a great, great day. And of course, I hope to see you next time in another workout. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and bye. Till next time.